Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on fixing kernel local privilege escalation Dirtico on Red Hat or CentOS 7. The procedure is same whether you are running Red Hat or CentOS version 5, 6 or 7. So friends, uh, I believe you all know what is Dirtico. That is a whole topic now. I have uh, documented uh, the statement from uh, Red Hat or CentOS portals and how you can find whether your system is impacted or not. Just w get this particular script and run it on your system. It will tell whether that is impacted or not. In case your system is not having uh, web connectivity or connectivity direct connectivity to Red Hat portal, you can download the script to your satellite or any local server and just SCP that and run it. That is it. And how you can fix this particular bug? Just simply update your kernel. That is it friends and I am going to demonstrate uh, how easily you can do that. I have opened two putty sessions. One is uh, on the system running Red Hat 7. Here I will show you Red Hat release. This is Red Hat 7.2 and uh, this system is on Amazon. And uh, similar thing I will show you on other system. This system is kernel level 2.6.32.642 is the revision. And uh, let me show you Red Hat version over here. Sorry, friends. This is sent to a 6.8 and uh, platform is VMware. So, as I said, uh, you have to first determine whether your system is impacted by Dirtico or not. So, just simply run this script. My both systems got net connectivity, so I am running the script and uh, on both systems. And here, if uh, this is my Amazon system with uh, Red Hat 7.2, if you see this message, your kernel is this one, which is vulnerable it means my system is impacted by this particular bug and even on my CentOS 7 sorry CentOS 6 I got this message my kernel is vulnerable so friends what I'm going to do I'm going to update my kernel which will take reboot of my system so new kernel can take effect just to do that I am so better instead of uh, only updating kernel package I will update uh, whole system I'm just uh, running yum update on my Amazon one. I am going to display in both ways. Here on my Amazon system, I am running yum update my whole system in case you can't update your whole system. So, I am going to demo how you can update only kernel. So, yum update, sorry, yum update kernel, pressing enter here. This is my system uh, on VMware. So, I am covering both scenarios where you, if you have liberty to update your whole system or you want to stick with one kernel package only, which is basically bug. So, it is going on. So, right now on uh, CentOS 6 machine, uh, I am just updating kernel and this is the dependency package. I am saying yes, update it. This is 60 MB package. It will take some time to download and let us check status of Red Hat 7 system. It is updating the packages. If you see, I run yum update, so it is updating all packages. 452 packages, it will take a couple of minutes, I believe. And so, on our both system, packages are installed. This is my Red Hat 7.2 system, all the packages got installed. That was complete yum update. And on this one, uh, kernel update still going on. It downloaded 2.6.32, that's 642 for CentOS 6 and as per CentOS support page, this is the kernel which got fixed for the Tico. So, it is still going on. Okay, so kernel update is finished on CentOS 6 also. So, I am just going to reboot. So, in your uh, enterprise or production environment, you have to reboot uh, after coordinating downtime with your application or database teams. So, here I am rebooting both servers. One was on Amazon, one is on VMware. Okay, so friends, uh, my both servers came up Amazon as well as VMware instance, both. So, on Amazon one, I am just uh, elevating my privileges to become root. I am running sudo. Okay, so here I can check the kernel update. 
yeah, if you see it's now 514 earlier it was 300 something okay so to validate whether this instance is uh, free from dirty cow i'm going to run same script this particular one which earlier told me my system is infected okay now if you see everything is green it is saying my system is not vulnerable now so that's good i have fixed dirty cow bug on direct 7.2 running on amazon ec2 instance let's repeat this step on uh, linux one which is sent to s6 running on vmware the friends here i got message my sent to a six kernel is also bug free now it's not vulnerable so that's good thing so friends so that's easy uh, to fix this bug because the vendors red hat and CentOS worked proactively not proactively i can say but very quickly to give us solution so we got patch that's easy so friends uh, one small recommendation in case uh, you are applying this uh, package on your vmware just uh, recompile or initialize your vmware tool you can do it uh, vmware config.pl dash s default so they are compiled with this particular kernel version that's it thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot friends bye bye